Justin O'Connor, hammer time in the finals, relentless. You look tired at the end because you did all the work. What were your coaches saying to you in that one? Uh, they told me to push the pace. Uh, they thought there would be more stalling calls at this tournament, but I didn't really get into money. Uh, so hopefully I'll be getting those later in the year, but they just told me to keep up the pace and finish hard. Front headlock to a foot sweep. I think you might get on the dirt this week. I can't make any promises, but where did you learn that from? Uh, well, my coach was showing me a couple foot sweeps uh, this week, Coach Manzella. Uh, he was showing me a foot sweep that Matt Lang used to hit from all the way. Where, uh, he was pulled ahead and uh, I just did it from the front headlock. So. Looking at uh, the, this tournament, this is the toughest tournament in the state of Illinois, high school tournament. Obviously, maybe beside your state series, you know. Uh, but looking at raising your level of competition, what do you got to do? How do you up the ante from this tournament? Uh, just keep practicing harder, uh, push myself more. Uh, after my matches, I try to get in a little extra workout just so uh, it gets better condition from there on. I asked uh, Joe Silva, I think he's a 120 pounder, he beat Gomez in the finals from from uh, Florida. I said, what grade are you in? He said, I'm a sophomore. I said, what colleges? He didn't even hesitate, he said Michigan. You're a junior, what colleges? Do you have, you, you don't have to just come out like he did, but are you thinking colleges right now? Uh, yeah, I have a couple I've been looking at. Uh, probably the, my top three at this point are probably Mizzou, Illinois, and UNC, but they could change. It's uh, That's just who I've been talking to a lot lately. Silzer's going to Illinois. Yeah. Is that something that would maybe draw you to Illinois? A little bit. Me and Jake have been on a team since grammar school at uh, Tinley Park Bulldogs. And then we both kind of want to go to the same high school. Uh, and then I haven't really, I don't know about college yet though. See where, where it's at. So Mizzou, Illinois, and UNC, those are the ones that, that you're talking to right now. Yeah. Do you think it's something like this, you know, being in a national spot like this, dominating? in the uh, the final like that. Do you think that that probably gonna, has increased the emails and calls you're gonna get? Uh, yeah, I think it could. What do you think about, you know, staying home? Northwestern is right in Chicago. It's probably a half hour, 45 minutes away. Is that something that's an option? Yeah, I mean, I'm still pretty much open at this point. Uh, those are just the schools I've been talking to a lot and uh, got to see the campuses a little bit and stuff, so. so what do you do from here as far as, you know, you gotta try and win a state title. How important is that on your priority list? Uh, for this season, it's my top priority. Uh, everything up until that's to get me ready for the state tournament. That's why after all my matches, I try to get in a little bit extra workout to prepare for state. What's your finishes at the state tournament in Illinois so far? Uh, uh, first both years. First both years? So you, you got an opportunity to be a four-time state champ? Yeah. What would that mean to you? Uh, it would mean a lot. I'd be the first one to win it. Uh, all four years in three, the 3A division. And uh, I won state five times in grammar school, so I'd be the first Illinois person to win it five times in grammar school and four times in high school. So looking for nine state titles? Yeah. All right, Austin, you got anything else for me? Uh, I'd like to thank my coaches, and, uh, my family, and all my partners. All right, man, hopefully we get you on the dirt this week, nasty foot sweep, congratulations on the title. Thanks.